Okay, so what do people do under lockdown? Well, they sit on their couch and watch TV all day. And what does company do? Well, Xiaomi recently launched the first Android TV box in India that runs Android 9.0 out of the box and supports apps like Netflix, Prime Videos and such. But every Xiaomi enthusiast know this is basically the rebranded version of Xiaomi's Mi Box S, which was released in US market a few years ago. So Xiaomi being Xiaomi does what it does best. It undercuts the price to three and a half thousand, which makes it a lot cheaper than Fire Stick and equivalent to Chromecast. So the question has to be asked. How does this Mi Box 4K compare with the older generation of Mi Box? And most importantly, should you buy it over Fire Stick 4K? Well, this is Minal from TechWiser.com, and let's find out. Okay, so let's start with the unboxing ritual. So we have the Mi Box itself and a sleek-looking Bluetooth controller, a power adapter, and a standard HDMI cable. On the outside, you get a rectangular box made out of plastic with the rounded edges, and comes with a standard HDMI 2.B port, which is slightly better than the HDMI 2.A port we had in Mi Box S. And then we have the power adapter, a USB 2.0 port. I would have appreciated USB 3.0, and then a headphone jack, which most of you will use it as the audio out jack for your sound system. Sadly, there's no Ethernet port like you get with Shield TV as well as Apple TV, but you can always use USB to Ethernet adapter like you do with your Fire Stick. Now, as you know, this Mi Box 4K is an Indian version of Mi Box S. So, if I put this Mi Box S and the Mi Box 4K side by side, you won't be able to tell any difference because there isn't much. I mean, take a look at the model number on both Mi Box S and the Mi Box 4K. Exactly the same. Now, for those who don't know, Xiaomi released the first version of Mi Box in China and US around 2016, followed by Mi Box S in US in 2018, and now Mi Box 4K in India in 2020. And the key thing is, the specs were pretty much the same all over the years, with a very minute difference. Now, I was expecting a little bit of upgrade here. Now inside you have the two gigs of Cortex A53 CPU, two gigs of RAM, and eight gigs of storage. Now eight gigs of internal storage is quite less, but hey, you can use the USB A port to connect your external hard drive. And if eight gigs of RAM isn't enough for you, you can also connect your USB flash drive and migrate all the apps as well as install new application directly in the pen drive. Or you can also use it as a removable pen drive depending on your requirements. Now there are also rumors that Xiaomi is gonna release Mi TV Stick with the exact same spec, so I will try to get my hands on those as well. If we move towards the software, it runs the certified Android TV version with Android 9.0 out of the box. So you get the official Google Play Store to download Android apps optimized for your TV screen, as well as you can play some decent games with your remote as well as the Bluetooth controller. And since Mi Box 4K also comes with Bluetooth 4.2, you can connect any of the compatible Bluetooth headphones or truly wireless from the settings and enjoy private listening. A very underrated feature in my opinion. Also, I wasn't able to find a single bloatware preloaded on Mi Box 4K, which is good. I like the fact that they didn't add any fluffy apps like Z5, Voot, Old Balaji, etc. Good job there. Now, talking about the remote, it's basically the same remote that you get with the older version of Mi Box as well as Mi TV. The power button on the top uses the HDMI CAC to turn on the TV the Mi Box S is connected to, and the voice search button launches Google Assistant. This time they have also added a dedicated Netflix as well as a Prime Video button, which in my opinion is a very smart form of advertising. See, these logos never peels off and constantly reminds you to continue paying for your subscription. Another thing that's going for Mi Box 4K is the built-in 4K Ultra. So you can either buy a Chromecast 3 for three and a half thousand, or you can buy this Mi Box at the same price, which not only has Chromecast Ultra feature built-in, but also comes with a remote, has an interface, and can run Android apps. I guess at this point, Chromecast 3 is not a worthy option. Now. 
speaking of performance, Mi Box 4K can play 4K videos in HDR. However, due to lockdown, we didn't have access to the 4K panel in our office, so we can't comment on the 4K performance yet. However, the previous Mi Box S that we tested was decent. Either way, we will update the performance once we fully test it. Now, let's compare it with the competition. Like I said, comparing it with the Chromecast is pointless. So, the next best alternative we have is Fire Stick 4K which offers similar performance, portability and works with Echo Dot. Now, in terms of portability, Fire Stick has a clear advantage. However, I'm still gonna choose the Mi Box due to the additional USB port and an audio port which connects to external soundbar. Now, you can use USB OTG to get similar functionality on Fire Stick, but I prefer a standard out-of-the-box solution. Now, let's talk about the interface. Fire TV Stick runs Fire OS and Mi Box runs Android TV OS, which is subjective in my opinion. However, in terms of performance, both Fire Stick 4K and Mi Box 4K have 4K display resolution and support similar applications like Netflix, Prime Videos, YouTube and such. The only difference I could find was that YouTube on Fire Stick can go only up to 1080p, while on Mi Box it goes up to 4K. Also, Amazon Fire Stick is the only one that supports Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos officially. Again, in terms of app support, the Mi Box 4K wins easily as you have more number of apps that you can directly install from the Play Store. This also includes high-end games. And finally, if we factor in the price, Mi Box 4K takes the cake here. So the Mi Box 4K is priced only at 3500 but Fire Stick is available for 6000 So if I have to recommend Fire Stick or a Mi Box, it's definitely gonna be Mi Box. It has more number of apps, more hardware, more feature and it's a lot cheaper. So finally, which one should you buy? Well, let's sum it up. Mi Box 4K has an underwhelming hardware and a decent software but it's priced better and that's why we recommend it. However, I have to say, I did expect Xiaomi to innovate a little. It's fundamentally the same product that was launched four years ago. That being said, it's Minar signing off. I would like to know your thoughts in the comments and like always, thanks for watching.